So you want to pack it all up and move to Mars? Well, let's think about that. Because even by Hollywood standards, living on Mars would be pretty shitty. Just ask Matt Damon, farmer of potatoes, if you know what I'm saying. F you, Mars. And Mars puts the red in dread. Just look at these headlines. Getting to and living on Mars will be hell on your body. NASA says not possible. And my personal fave, how you'll die on Mars. But because I'm not in the business of crushing dreams, let's pretend we can live there. First, we gotta get there. Popular science says good luck even finding a spot to park. Mars's atmosphere is thin, like 100 times less dense than the atmosphere on Earth. So heavy objects will pick up too much speed upon entering, and it likely results in a crash landing. But say you buckled up, arrived alive, and are ready to set up camp. You need more than a tent, sweetie. The temperature on Mars goes from hot to cold faster than your ex. It's the thin skin. I mean, atmosphere. It can't retain heat energy. Take a summer day near the equator on Mars. It can reach a balmy 70 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and plummet to negative 100 degrees at night. Still, if you want a house, NASA's Rick McGuire Davis Jr. told Astronomy.com that you'd need something environmentally controlled with things like life support systems, power systems, docking ports, and airlocks. And all that equipment would likely have to come from Earth, prime shipping not included. But where would you build? Likely near Mars's ice caps. That will allow humans to produce water necessary for activities like farming. And you're definitely growing your own groceries over there. NASA says there is some soil with enough nutrients for plants to survive on Mars, but that it likely have to be grown in a greenhouse to protect them from the harsh environment. Here's the catch. Those plants will likely put off a lot of oxygen. Too much of it could be toxic to the crew and even cause spontaneous explosions if not vented correctly. It's the Mars Attack sequel you never saw coming. <laughs> so aside from getting there, living there, eating there, and breathing there all being hard to do, NASA is on a mission to figure it out. It's outlined goals to send humans to Mars in the 2030s, which means NASA is about to pull a Matt Damon. Mars will come to fear my botany powers.